Make 
You can't take my freedom from me. 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 You
uh, this could scare you. Dear Art Bell, I just recently began listening to your radio show and could not believe it when you talked about the sounds from hell tonight. My uncle had told me this story a couple of years ago, and I didn't believe him. Like one of your listeners who discounted the story as nothing more than just a religious newspaper fabricated account. The story about the digging of the hole and the hearing of the sounds from hell is very real. It did occur in Siberia. My uncle collected videos and audio tapes and so forth on the paranormal, supernatural. He passed away fairly recently, but he would have loved your show. He let me listen to one of the audio tapes that he had on the sounds from hell in Siberia, and I copied it. He received his copy from a friend who worked at the BBC. It took me a while to find it tonight, but attached is that sound from my uncle's tapes. It's not the greatest quality, but the sounds are there. I was very hesitant to send you this, as the sound bothers me to listen to. I'd suggest that if you do play it on the program, warn listeners in advance so they may have the option of turning the radio off for 30 seconds while it plays. It has always haunted me. To those who discounted the Siberia sounds from Hell's story, it is true, and I, for one, wish it wasn't. Rick, listening from Chicago. And so I submit now the cleaned, uh, a better copy to you, and uh, I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed. That's it. I'll let you come to your own conclusions, as I usually do. 